Howdy folks, it's Chuck Steele again. Guys, if you hear sirens in the background, I'm sorry. I can't do nothing about it. They've been doing it all day. I don't know what's going on. But I was out here doing my video for the Tops Camp Creek. And I brought my custom from White Hines with me. And I haven't done a video on it yet just because of the fact I don't really have the means necessary to do it justice. But I did find a piece of hickory here. It's about three inches in diameter. And it's... Uh, it's been cut and dried so it's extremely hard it's hard and dense so when I start cutting into this you're gonna to have to remember it's not green wood it's not gonna it's not gonna stick in there you know two and a half inches deep like it would if it was green just keep that in mind this is a really good test for it hickory some of the hardest wood out there in my woods especially that's why they make axe handles and things like that out of it so go ahead and show you the knife Now this uh, dangler system, I hit wide up and told him what I wanted. He made it, and and the belt loop is a is like a little crude belt loop. He just made me just to see if this was gonna work, and he said if it worked that he might start offering it to his customers. So white, it works, hands down it works. So it's a really good setup. So if y'all want a, a dangler like this from him, hit him up, and uh, I'm sure he'll make you one. Show you the knife here. Now I had to blue it because down here in the south, even with the, even with oil on it, it was rusting. I mean, instantly. It's quarter inch thick. It's got the bird's head grip. It's got the chill up here for fine work. It's just a decent knife. And I took my lanyard off. Let me pause this. Let me put my lanyard on. All right, guys, I put the lanyard on there. Now the bluing on this knife come out really good it's not blotchy in any way or nothing like that and it's starting to maybe show some wear in some spots but I've been using the far out of this knife I've been batoning with it and everything now you're supposed to wait like 48 hours before you use something after you blew it literally 30 minutes after I blew it I went out and started hammering on stuff so this bluing job even looked way better when I first done it if I can find some pictures of it I'll put them up here right now But uh, I'll pull you down here and show you this piece of hickory. It's a really hard piece of wood. And uh, we'll chop on it and see how she does. And it's not a very stable platform. So it's not going to be the best chopping. But I just want to show you what the knife can do anyway. I mean, that's some hard wood right there. Oh, will show you how sharp it is. Because it's blistering sharp. As a really, really, that's not my skin, that's stuff off that tree. But, uh, has a really thick convex edge, so this really hard piece of hickory shouldn't be no problem for it. But that's even gonna make it not stick even more. But it should make it throw chips a lot better. Let me see where I'm gonna. I might have to turn the. ain't real stable but we'll go for it Yeah, my boards are flopping around, I know. Let's try it on a shorter piece this time. Now, I'm not, I'm not swinging for the trees. I'm just flicking my wrist, really. I mean, you can hear how hard that is. We 
give it one more go here. What's got me is my arms right here, and I can't make this side, this back swing very, very good. There we go, it was a good one. Really good, really good bite out. I mean, that's, that's dried wood. I mean, that's, that's a really good bite. bouncing too much now there you go I mean that's some really really hard hickory so let's uh let's do something like this now After I'm going through the log, it's still chopping my, my four by four up pretty good there. Yeah, I'd say she works pretty good. Oh yeah, she does the job. That big old knot I just hit. I mean, look, I'm just, I'm just flipping my wrist. That convex edge like that, that's a good thing about it. It throws some hellacious chips. All right, guys, after all that chopping, let's see if she, let's see if she still shaves here. Oh yeah. Razor sharp. Excellent heat treat. White, you knocked it out of the park, buddy. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at the custom from White Hines. I'll do a close-up video on it later. Give you a good look at it until we talk about the, the dimensions and all that stuff of it. But until then, thanks for watching.